all right you are welcome again without wasting much of our time let's take a look at this question on the limit evaluate the limit as x approaches zero 3x minus sine 3x all over x squared plus x cube okay yes we are asked to evaluate this limit now looking at this you will see that if you are to plug in the value for x here as x approaches zero is going to give you zero all over zero which is undefined so that is to say there is a need to work on this particular expression or on this limit so that it will not give us an undefined value okay so we are going to work on it and it's going to return the real value to us now what do we do so in this case or uh, in this particular expression we are going to apply l hospital's rule so what does l hospital's rule says now he says we are going to differentiate the numerator on his own and then differentiate the denominator separately look at it this way you see we are going to have the limit as x approaches zero the derivative of the numerator all over the derivative of the denominator so here we have d all over the x of 3x minus sine 3x all over the derivative of the denominator which is d all over the x of x squared plus x cubed okay now let's go let's differentiate the numerator when we differentiate the numerator we are going to have 3 minus 3 cos 3x when you differentiate 3x with respect to x it's going to give you 3 and when we differentiate minus sine 3x it's going to give you minus 3 cos 3x that is for numerator and then we we'll go for the denominator when we differentiate x squared it's going to give us 2x and when we differentiate x cubed, it's going to give us 3x squared, right? Good. Again, let's plug in the value for x, which is 0. So, in the numerator, we are going to have cos 3 times 0 is 0, right? We're going to have cos 0, and cos 0 is 1. So, 1 times 3 is going to give you 3. So, in the numerator, we are going to have 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0. And then, in the denominator, 2 times 0, 0 plus 0 squared is 0 multiplied by 3 is 0 so in numerator is going to give us 0 and then denominator is going to give us also 0 which is still undefined so we are going to apply this again we are going to differentiate it again differentiating for the second time we are going to have 9 sine 3x all over 2 plus 6x Look at it. When you differentiate 3, it's a constant. It will go. And when we differentiate minus 3 cos 3x, it's going to give you 9 sine 3x. Are we together? All over in the denominator, when you differentiate 2x, it's going to give you 2. When you differentiate 3x squared, it's going to give you 6x. Let's go again. Let's plug in the value for x which is zero so in the numerator we're going to have nine sine three times zero is zero so we're going to have nine sine zero sine zero is going to give you zero so zero times nine is zero so in the numerator we're going to have zero all over the denominator is going to give us two zero all over two which is not still what we want we're going to go again and differentiate for the third time and then possibly this will be the last okay now let's go when we differentiate for the third time 9 sine 3x what will it give you it's going to give you 27 cos 3x right yes and then in the denominator we'll differentiate 2 plus 6x is going to give us 6 again for the last time let's plug in the value for x which is 0 so in the numerator, we're going to have 27 cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So 1 times 27 is 27 all over 6. So here we have 27 all over 6. Now let's reduce it okay, to the lowest term. 
is going to be 9 all over 2. That is when you divide divide numerator by 3, it's going to give you 9. Divide the denominator by 3, it's going to give you 2. So here we have 9 all over 2. So therefore, when we evaluate the limit as x approaches 0, 3x minus sine 3x all over x squared plus x cubed is going to give us 9 all over 2. All right, are we together? Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, do well to subscribe. If you have not, like and share our videos. Stay blessed.